bio medical access. It's a big station. It's a big weird station. Just married. Newlyweds, new perspective. Coming 2088. That would be exactly a hundred years from the date I was born. Jesus Christ. I guess this is a good loading screen. Entering biomedical module. What will we find here? Attention, subconscious cafe, all that access here. Inbound message. A random Odin fact for you while you work. Odin was the very first AI to be branch and branch from the original source over a hundred years ago. He's an old guy. Alright, is there more? This is H, by the way. Hi. Uh, I hope you can read this. Okay, your real handler is back from the ba bathroom. Now bye. Okay. So, medical. So, so let's go here first. Oh. Space to recover. Say, folks, yay or nay? Obviously, we're on board. I'm in. Me too. Okay. All right. Well, we non essential personnel need to figure out how to do everything we can to set this mission up for success, then get the hell out of your way as quickly as possible. Time is oxygen, people. Great. I can't I'll, believe um, everybody went along with this. I'll head downstairs. I didn't expect him to either. Oh my god. Okay. So now we actually have to build hey, this thing. Andrew. Clive. Yeah, that was the point. Wanna talk? Hold on, I sure, Evie. Are, are you okay? Evie! Hey, Evie. Hey, um, I know you're all like gung-ho to help us out and everything, but I did the math. Uh, if we could get this done in like 48 hours, not 72. Could the rest of us wait longer to go in? Exactly. Listen, ladies, I get it. You're trying to do right by us, but every minute we wait to go in is a minute you don't have to get this thing flying. And knowing what we know about VT, we've got to give you every chance we can to succeed. So there's no way we can convince you? We made a plan. Now we just need to hold up our end of the bargain. Then I guess we should stop wasting time and get to work. All right, what's going on I didn't on think things would end like this. Did you? What do you mean, end? Come on, Clive. What? You really think they can turn that thing into a passenger vehicle in two days? We might as well hold our breath and just try dog paddling over there. <laughs> but Listen, it's, it's okay. We know it's not safe working up here. We just don't think about it a lot. But here we are. And we knew it all along. But VT could... VT's not fucking coming, Clive! VT's not fucking coming. You think sending a crew up here at the drop of a hat just to check on things is worth it to them? Dollars and cents, Clive. You know what one of those fuckers said to me one time? If it doesn't make dollars, it doesn't make sense. Oh, boy. That's them sending a, a crew up in time... That's a bad thing to say. It just doesn't make sense. So you're just giving up, then? No. We're doing what we said we'd do. Bert and Nat, they are our only shot and we have got to take it. But I can also be realistic that- Evie. I don't want to be realistic with you. Oh my god. Well, time to go make final preparations then. <laughs> but not too finally. <laughs> All right. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm picturing it. The day we'll be walking together, 
like this. The gravity, it won't be artificial. I mean, isn't it strange? We've... We've never felt the Earth's pull together. One day. One day. Still following you. You keep giving me some oh, good info. Baby. Do you think you could get everyone to medical? I, I want to make sure they've got the best shot at waking back up once they do go in. Uh, all right. How about this? Let's give folks a little time to regroup. But why don't Clive and I follow you over there right now? Get ours done. No time like the present. Lead the way. Okay, Evie. I. Evie. I. Hello. Guess I'll catch up with y'all later then. And you. We made a plan. Now we just need to hold up our end of the bargain. Get to work. This is gonna be good, Evie. You just wait. <laughs> Ride of your life. More ways than one. Okay, where do we start? Start? I got things started as soon as this all went down. I'll show you what I got lined up. To the workshops! Did they come back? Let's go with the Shut medic. Up. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Andrew. Clive. Andrew. Yeah. Hey, are are you okay? Evie. Hey. No, nope, I'm not. Okay. Ah, uh, shit. Yeah. Are you okay? No, nope, I'm not. No, nope, I'm not. Nope, I'm nope, I'm not. Okay. Nope, I'm not. Okay. Well, do you want to talk about... I can't do it. Uh... I can't. I can't. I... This is all crazy. But you said you... I know. I, okay, I know what I... What was I supposed to say? You all... You all pressured me. Andrew. <laughs> they really expect us to climb into some jury rig thing and ride it through space just because VT might not come pick us up. I it's insane. And first, we all have to oh, get boy. in cryo just for the privilege. Well, some of us do. Andrew, I, I don't know what to say. They do not need us. They need you. Well, I'm not doing it. I'm not getting in cryo. I'm not... I'm going to be the same one here. No, nobody even considered that VT might come pick us up in time if we just wait. Nobody even considered it. Listen, just... Don't talk to anybody else about this for now, okay? And, and if I were to call the crew into medical, you'd show up, right? I guess it depends what it is. Okay. Just... Give me a little time. Okay, Andrew. Let's see what you got. Hey, Odin. Yes, Andrew? What should I do? What do you mean? I don't know. I... I just want to go home. I understand. Do you? I believe that I do. Can you tell me the average time it's taken VT to send an evac crew to investigate situations like this? The average time between a remote facility losing ground contact and an investigative crew arriving on site is 98.4 hours. Oh boy. God damn it. Please try not to be worried, Andrew. <laughs> That's easy for you to say. You don't have lungs. So, what do you think we should do? Standard operating procedure requires all crew to engage cryogenic hibernation until help arrives. Yeah, you know people die in cryo, right? I know. Sometimes. If, uh... <laughs> if we don't make it out of this... Can you deliver a message to my family? I will do everything in my power. Okay. 
I'll, uh... I'll send you something later, all right? Of course. While we're here. Uh, just checking about your renewal, Andrew. I'm not talking about what's paying the bill. I'm talking about Nicholas. See you every four months, and that's not even talking my family into account. What I set aside for now. You might not think he's showing it, but Nicholas really wishes you were here. Listen, if you're back on your contract renewal, we'll figure out the way to make it work. You know, my parents did well in the current crash, in currency crash. My dad always says, I just want you home. Uh, relying on your parents' charity on your, uh, is your solution. I'm building equity up here. My elder will pay for Nicholas School. They will be back out of contract. We'll lose. And I'm not. Don't appreciate this emotional sometimes. You know. Okay. Lost message on sick. Kill me. Uh, there's really no way to getting a signal out. There must be something. No, Andrew. All comms are routed through a secured VT laser array. It's been destroyed and they're okay. So I guess we should just carry on normal. We don't have, we don't have much time. We need to make a contingency plan. But VT is supposed to come back, pick us up, right within 24 hours. Uh, listen, just increase the service supply for a short term. If, if words come to worse. Well, looks like this will work. Give us a few extra hours anyway. Thanks, Odin. Okay, Evie, I... Hello? Guess I'll catch up with you all later then. I like this, this mechanic though, it's pretty fun. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Close your eyes. I did already. A light wind rustles the green tall grass. Your skirt billows gently. Warm sun caresses your back. Yes. You begin walking forward. The grass is cool. Your... Feet parted with each step. Do you see what is in front of you? As I step through the grass, I naturally come upon a path. Yes. The dirt of the so The dirt of the path is soft on the soles of my feet. I don't know what's going to happen to us, Odin. Sarah. <laughs> I am striding forward confidently upon my appointed path. Wherever it takes me is where I am meant to be. I am striding confidently on my appointed path. Sarah? All right. Yes, Odin? Are you going to be all right? I think so. Oh, Evie, uh, do you think you could get everyone to medical? I, I want to make sure they... Personal core tours. Probably Andrew's personal quarter here. Welcome. Time to load up. Okay, Odin. Ready? Do it this time. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, 
venture stock tumble following failure over the worker safety bill. Bill will have repealed the end of the recording. The devil, okay. Well, did this gives us an overview of like the shit going on outside the space station? Oh, that's a beautiful picture. Uh, yes, I opened it, and I'm not sure I get it. You need to pass them out to the rest of the crew so they're not blinded by the glare off your damn shiny scalp. Nicholas, happy birthday, Dad. All right. All right, on to the next area. Fifty percent. Two days ago. Ooh, this is some big data. Please proceed to examine for appointment. Okay, Sarah. We'll see you over in Mech. As soon as everything's wrapped up here. All right. Good speed. Once more into the breach. What? I don't know. I. I'm just thinking about how Evie and Clive are already in deep freeze. Did you read the message they sent? Yeah. Why are we going into the supply closet? I got to talk to them a little bit right before Sarah took them down to cryo, and Evie was being so encouraging. They're putting all their faith in us, but... But what? Right before they turned to go, just for a second, they look so worried. Oh, baby. Why is the clock is ticking? And I just keep thinking, what if the last time they saw each other is the last time they'll ever see each other? Mm. Don't think about that. How can I? How can you not think about it? <sighs> so, you know the concept of partitioning from early century computing? Yeah, I think so. So, you have a day to drive. Maybe one partition was your operating system, and the other one was, like, general data storage. And maybe you'd partition part of the drive off to contain something that might be a... Early century computing. Yeah, I think so. So, you have a data drive. Maybe one partition was your operating system, and the other one was, like, general data storage. All right, all right. And maybe you'd partition part of the drive off to contain something that might be unstable, that you otherwise kind of, you know, wanted not to interfere with anything else. There are certain things that are going to help us get this done, but some things, they need to be partitioned off. Because thinking about them isn't going to help us. But you're thinking about us, at least, aren't you? Yeah. And when I do let myself start thinking about how there's a possibility this is the last of our time together, too. Nah. Then I start thinking we should really make the most of it. <laughs> Alrighty. So, Let myself start thinking. So there's a lock and gauge here to see something. Security medical store physicians access okay, so the doctor probably has probably has the thing I need to see. Okay, Sarah. We'll see you over next. As soon as everything's wrapped up here. All right. Good speed. What's she looking at here? Emergency in effect. Courage is physically active. Two for crowd pod occupied. Oxygen supply approximately 50 hours. Tacoma remaining. Uh, to everyone left awake at Tacoma station, I've added a tracking widget to all your crew desktop. It plays a precise accurate estimate of how much breathable air remains on the station. Following Augie Bloom and AV and Clive I'm going to crowd, the counter should give us a pretty good keep an eye on it. Uh, hey ladies, you scan look good. You're cleared for cryo, if God forbid, into the pod. Ditching some sand stars over there. Girls, patient go okay. In this case, a medical emergency or surgical under required medical uh, facilities. Temporary cryogenic until you. Very simple staff will scan the tremendous dose. Okay, so this is the procedure she's scanning for. Alright. Oh, Odin. Did I do the right thing? In what regard? Does Nat deserve to know what her odds are if she ends up going into cryo? I believe oh, that no. you have made a decision with both Roberta and Natalie's best interests at heart. Above all, do no harm. If we do make it out of this thing, Nat's going to have to find out I didn't tell her everything at some point. I believe that is a bridge to be crossed at a later date. 
Andrew is here for his exam. Oh. Uh, send him in. So you showed up for your exam? I did. So does that mean you've decided to... What's gonna happen to us, Sarah? What? Um... Well, Bert and Nat are going to fix up the drone with life support, and, and then we're... No. I mean... What if things don't work out? And we're still stuck in cryo. Oh. Well, when you go into stabilizing sleep, it feels just like any other sleep, really. The body effectively goes into a controlled hypothermic coma. Do you dream? Sometimes. Sometimes very intense dreams. And then what? After a certain amount of time, your body slows down too much, things start shutting down, don't wake back up. It, uh... It doesn't hurt. No. Do you think Bert and Nat can get it done? I do. Then I'll just have to trust your professional opinion and do my part. It's been good working with you, Doc. I'm ready for my exam. Fuck was that? Alright. Best kind of record pin updated. The uh, contract has uh, reminder phrase. Thank you for updating your crew IR bioscan record access code. Please enter a code reminder phrase for your future reference. Graduation. Oh, there's the key I need. Supply locker. Okay, so I need to. Our AR Bioscan record access code is graduation. And she has a diploma here. John Hopkins University School of Medicine, 2080. All right. Recent body sign record for medical staff only, 2080. All right. 2080. Unlocked. There you go. So what does Robert, uh, Nat, Roberta Williams? Uh, 160 centimeter. Standard, I mean, an individual schedule AC. Emergent said a risk factor none. Patients that has no physical system that might be led to injury or death following cryogenic said a revival physical should be okay. So what's her thing? Why is she probably not? Oh, okay. Oh, a bad ticker. Heart murmur. Probable mitral stenosis. Patient exhibits clear sign of cardiovascular abnormality. Heart murmurs. This condition represents severe risk of death during the cryogenic revival process. Expected probability of survival of patient under the stream is 18%. Oh, shit. Patient is not recommended for cryogenic station. Phys physicians should consider alternative method of treatment of this patient. The medical staff. Oh, okay. Uh, standard. Okay, and none. Patient exhibit no physical symptom might lead to injury. Blah blah. Okay. Oh. Okay. So what am I looking for here? Oh. The New York Times, Sunday, September. Venture settled with family of spaceport victim following a lengthy. Independent investigative court case, the Ventura Corporation has reached a settlement with the physical Jaden Jeremiah Pratt, who died during the surgery for a fractured femur. Femur. Uh, following an accident aboard Venture Fountain of Paradise Spaceport on September 2, 2085, the value of the settlement was undisclosed as part of the settlement term. Venture admitted no wrongdoing of death of Mr. Pratt. However, significant public, uh, public relation damage was already done by the incident, while OSEP and the independent investigator was in inconclusive. The attempt surgeon at the time, Mr. Pratt's death, Dr. Sarah Wu, okay, testified during a multiple hearing that the fault lay no hu human error but it, in the faulty judgment of Ventures Medica AI HECA. Following these claims and the lack of refutation by OSEP investigation, investor uh, confidence in the reliability of Ventures AI offering declined sharply and has re fully recovered since. Dr. Hazmaya has transferred off the Fountain of Paris spaceport shortly after hearing began. Mr. Rezipa is a popular travel and food writer, bringing his death in subsequent hearings. So it's a, it's some, I'm just butchering some of the words here. Alright, so she was aboard another ship that something bad happened. 
I will tell her. Okay, Crow's is active. Okay. Dear Martin and Nicholas, I don't know how to say this, but accident on the station. If you're reading this, we weren't able to survive. Uh, and I'm sorry, Nicholas. I'm sorry I won't be there to see you grow up to be an amazing man. I already see you come becoming. Uh, Mark, I'm already want there to hold your hands. Okay, don't forget me. I know I loved you. Oh, that's kind of sad. Uh, the drone was never meant to support human life. There is no air so, uh, so this place is no board, no control, there's none in the shield different human passenger. I'm just going to have to figure out where this cabin and all this stuff. Tacoma is a way that will uh, in the way that will break the station. I hope that I can reach or fit some drone support human life along enough to remove the main pilot the six of us from Tacoma to the moon. So I really need to get back it. Sorry, I think I'm buying okay. Andrew, information request answered if we can ask. <laughs> well mature sure drive. Her safety of each of the contrary so occasional accidents do happen in case of there is contrary to die. Transport remains for no arrangement paid by Venturist, order to and any interest in the insurance the contractor invested in are immediately transferred to a contrary specific beneficiary. Well, at least that's fine, at least the money that they do pick up it does transfer to make sense. Compala continues to accrue contract term, okay. Stay safe up there. Is everyone okie dokie? Dear crew, I would rather not be writing this. Clive and I uh, know why I wish we were signing these words. It's because, above all, I believe this is a crew. I wish we could dare to succeed in this. We have the right people to make our plan a reality. We are real fresh air again. We'll see our families again. We will end there. Okay, from now on, Clive and I will do our part to sell the crew as soon as they will join us. Sarah, Bert, and Nat. Okay, cool. Odin, is Sarah ready for me? I will tell her that you are here. She'll tell her. Okay, Sarah. We'll see you over in Mech. As soon as everything's wrapped up here. All right. Good speed. One. I mentioned Odin. Is that more data available to pilot this uh, desirable? Yeah, but around new data format for Xenon AI use, not uh, Bird's going to need a bail to use this stuff for real time when she's control. So, uh, notification controls interpret the data and display recommendation to option manually put to the pilot. Expose the raw data cross reference. Yes, I understand that will be okay. No, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Uh, but I just wanted to say I think you're a really good station admin. Uh, no matter. And how I acted, I want you to know I'm not going to let you down. That's very sweet, man. I appreciate it. These are as offline. I need to see you, okay? Alright, so all of this is discovered. Did I go over here? No, not yet. This is our doctor. JJ Pratt and oh that's the guy that died unfortunately uh, follower just feed maintain the memory of JJ sorry my last night at Terra Firma with a while love you Shalene Singapore home that's sad a message with Odin unfortunately the information you have requested is defined as uh, classified by Venturis I'm unable to transmit to you I wish I could I'm sorry Sarah it's okay, you don't have to apologize. I know you have your rules and you have to follow. I wonder if Nat could get it. I cannot prevent you from approaching Natalie about this issue. I can advise you that doing so would violate the terms of our security clearance. Okay. Uh, Egg and Day, Odyssey, a Star, blah, blah, blah. Okay, this is just a recipe. I'm not going to read all this because it's a lot of reading. Uh, no, on another facility, uh, like. If she was mal malfunctioning, or has there been anything wrong with her that people might not have known about, I could try looking into NVT's tech error. Okay, she's looking into uh, what happened.
Okay. That's cool. You can try to do the best the form as possible. Jesus Christ, there's a professional yoga? Medical storage, this is done, this is done. Okay, we're good. Data process complete. Luckily, even with the attempted data wipe, Odin appears to be mentally intact and just dormant. We're close to having a full picture of the data structure. It looks like someone tried to wipe all the error crew uh, record from the station, but a few couldn't be deleted. So, uh, uh, I hope you can read this. Okay. Yeah, is back. Okay. Okay. 100%. Uh, proceed immediately to the engineering module. One AI that is transferred from all modules, you must also secure and return the air physical processing medium. Larry requirement is one of the highest priority. Oh. Alright, alright.